South Bank Mosaics are a team of artisans working out of the very centre of London in Waterloo and we're going to join and partner the City of London and Heritage Lottery Fund and transform the Queen Hive Dock. Queen Hive Dock is a place on the north bank of the river which some people think was the very heart of London where the whole of the city uh, grew out of. 200, 300 years ago there would have literally been hundreds and thousands of boats going up and down the River Thames in a day. Um, and ma many of them will have gone through Queen Hive Dock. Today we're down on the foreshore of the River Thames, mudlarking and collecting tile from the river, working with experts and volunteers. The volunteers are absolutely crucial. But hidden in the shore of the river are hundreds and hundreds of tiles thrown up, churned up every day by the tide and then laid out uh, for us. We've picked a fantastic day. The sun is shining like bars of gold off the river. And this is part of the process. We're going to date it, we're going to clean it, and we're going to use it where possible at the edges of the design. I'm Mike Webber and I'm an archaeologist working on the Queen Hive Dock Timeline Mosaic project. As we're covering different periods of history along the main body of the mosaic, so the artefacts that represent that period of history will be going along a line at the top. Queen Hive, of course, is on the banks of the river. So where better to find good examples of all of those uh, artefacts than to come down onto the Thames beach and look for them. And we had a pretty successful day. Um, we've basically got from the very earliest we're going to find here, which is Roman, um, right the way through medieval, Tudor, Georgian, and indeed a few modern things. These are bits, believe it or not, um, of Roman roofs. This one, wide tile, about so long with this right angle bit on the corner. And then we have medieval roof tiles. And this is lovely because we've got both sides and it would have been about that long. And then these holes are used to peg it onto the roof. So we find the remains of buildings, but we also find the stuff that people who lived in those buildings were using day to day. So actually this piece, as well as telling us what people are eating off in the 17th century, it's also telling us something about the people who made these pots. This was a very important London industry. We have been on several foreshore walks with our resident archaeologist and it's interesting to move from the land to the beach and look at the, at the project from a, a, a riverine, a Thames perspective and also as we go along the beach we are busily picking up bits of pottery. I'm learning about Delft ware and how to recognise a piece of Roman pottery, medieval tiles. The treasures that we are finding are all going to actually become very much part of the, the actual mosaic. South Bank Mosaics depends on volunteers. We're run by a board of volunteers and we also um, reach out to lots of groups who are at risk of marginalisation. We work with homeless people, we work with people in trouble with the police, we work with people referred to us through the health service and we are an open studio so we need your help. Come down, give us a hand, join in, find out what we're doing. Volunteers are the heart of this project and they come from all walks of life in London and they're coming down with us to the river and finding these tiles and they're absolutely key to the success of this project.